evening, guys. Welcome back to another Craft Sipper Review Camper Van Special Edition. Do you know what? I went away on my camper van recently and I thought, why don't I do one in here? Never done it. I thought, I'd give it a whirl. So here we go Maiden Voyage. Not on a site or anything, just chilling. But yeah, yeah. What have we got today? It's Sunday afternoon. Been streaming, hedge trimming. Must be time for a calf sipping. So, so we'll do a special today. Nice bottle in the supper. So the sup cup can hold a whole manner of different sizes, as you've probably seen. I always got my 440s in there. You can put a little thing in the bottom to do the three phase, etc., etc. So let's pop that down there. Hope you can see it all. Got a cheeky little teku, teku, teku. You know I go on with the tekus. We love it. So without further ado, not too much wassing. Just going to get straight into it. Let's open this up. Ooh, what have we got? We've got a Yonda. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> That's all good. Ooh, easy tiger. So, we've got the Yonda Trunk of Funker. The Trunk of Funk! So, I thought we're in the camper van. Not in the trunk, but we've got the funk. So, here we go. Let me just put this little beastie back together. So, on the bottom, we've got a little bottle opener. Very handy. I know it's not the most elegant, but it does the job. So, Cheeky little number, yeah. 2021 Trunk of Funk. It's a barrel aged um, red Flanders style beer. Um, yeah, have a little look at that, guys, and I'll explain a bit more. Trunk of Funk is an annual celebration of the seasons. Each autumn, they brew a strong, dark ale onto forage fruits and aged in red wine barrels, where their house cultures work their sour magic. This particular vintage has been aging in oak with blackcurrant juice for 20 months before bottling. Now it's time to open the trunk of funk. Sounds pretty intense, doesn't it? And it's very strong. <laughs> very strong indeed, coming in at 10.6. So yeah, not for the faint-hearted. Love the bottle. Um, it's a bit like the other ones I've been buying. It's only a 375. It looks quite big. Um, it's not a 750, I promise you that, as you can see. So without further ado, let's crack her open. So this one I got from Yonder. Uh, I noticed it on there a couple of times, and um, it said they only had one left. I thought, better get it. Wow, that smells intense. That smells absolutely beautiful. So, wow. Barrel aged and fruited Flanders style red ale. Wow. Frost coming up the top now. She's open. Smell wise. Let's pour her out. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the old poor cabin boys and girls. Oh, it's lovely. Look at that. It's thick. Very dark. I suppose when it's been barrel aged, you know, um, they age it. It gets stronger, more intense, more more flavour, etc. So have a little lukey shall we so very dark um hold up to the light it's it's not black it's kind of like a dark browny red oh, it smells really nice now when i smelled it out of there it smelled a bit like a bit funky i suppose hence the name trunk of funk oh, 2021 so it's a couple of years old again just like the holy goat and the um other bottled uh other bottled ones you get um, which have been barrel aged you can you can age these for a little bit um, this one doesn't last as long. Uh, can't see. It. Oh yeah, best before eleventh of the eleventh of twenty twenty seven. So you got a long time on these. That's why I like these bottles. You can leave them um, obviously to chill, um, and you know, crack them open because they get a bit weird, a bit more funky. I don't know if the alcohol volume goes up or not, but who knows? Who knows? Get a really nice fruity smell there. Quite a deep depth of flavour. Beautiful. Right, that's enough wassing. Let's give her a little taste. That's very nice. Very, very intense taste. Um, nonetheless, well balanced, well rounded. I wouldn't say that's for everyone. It is a really nice tipple, that. It's something you'd enjoy over a little while. Oh, blimey. Dark and sour. Yeah. Mm. So it's got all the proper house cultures in there. 
Britannomyces and all those things in there, like all the bacteria that make it all that work, that sour magic in there. It doesn't taste that strong. I've tasted, gosh, it almost smells like a red wine. Notes of black currant, blackberry, cherry. Very, very nice. It was a really nice drink actually. I'm, I'm really glad I got that. 10.6, it don't taste like it. But yeah, that is a very special beer. I'm gonna start buying more of these. Um, I don't know if you saw my one recently I did on the um, Holy Goat. That was absolutely banging. That was the Citrus Crusher 2021, I believe, maybe. Don't quote me, I think it was 2021, but that was a banger, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, very nice, very, very nice. Mm. So what am I gonna give that verdict? I'm gonna give that a cheeky 4.25. Bloody lovely. I'd say get one of them if you can. If the bottle shops have got them, they're sold out on Yonder because I've got the last one. Um, I was gonna save it for a little while, but do you know what? Super Sipper, Super Sipper Sunday special. You can't beat it. And I love drinking. I'd rather drink one of these than a couple of like other tinnies. These are lovely. Absolutely lovely. Really up my street. Um, it's not too intense like some of the barrel aged ones you get, like some of the stouts. That's just me. That's just my taste buds. Wabba, would I buy it again? If you could get it, I'd definitely buy it again, but I can't say. So. Yeah. But watch out for these when they do them in the future. It may be different fruits they use, etc. Um, really lovely. Really lovely. And that was only £8. I mean, it's 3 7 5 But to me, that's a bargain. Do you know what I mean? It's a wicked drink. So, you know, you know, you know. Go and grab some while you can. <laughs> and cheers, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very, very much for watching. Give us a little like, comment, subscribe. Um, craft underscore sippers on the Instagram and on the YouTube. Um, yeah. Love you guys. Thank you very much. Peace out and laters.